So this is a talk about deception. It looks at several levels of deception, how we deceive ourselves, right. how we deceive others. And since we have that unavoidable hardwired tendency, it's very difficult for us to do estimation. We assume that since we're smart people that we can rationally decide on anything, yeah. but especially in estimation by beginning with what we all believe we know are the risks mm -hmm. and what we believe are the talents and capabilities of the people on the team. Right. And we can come up with a number yeah. that will convey to someone else all of this information and that it's our best guess at what this team can do over the next two weeks. When in reality, what we all bring to the table is our own set of misconceptions based on our experience, our fears, our over-optimism. That definitely affects the level of optimism that we all have. It's not just something that software engineers have, but it's a survival characteristic. It enabled us at one time to reproduce and make decisions that were not realistic, but that led to our success and brought us here today. However, uh, if we don't realize that we have that tendency, then we can get ourselves into trouble <laughs> and we can sign up for more work than we're comfortable doing. So I'm, I am an optimist. I'm a believer in the power of optimism. But I also realize that we should learn from what the cognitive scientists are telling us about the dangers. I believe that agile teams are our best yeah, hope for a lot of things. And the estimation piece is especially important in overcoming deception because it forces us. If your intervals are, for example, two weeks, every two weeks to sit down, produce a visible, usable increment, get feedback from stakeholders, ask hard questions in a retrospective. What's really working well? What should we do differently? And in that might be the possibility that we should cancel this project, that we should recast our vision. It's a time for reflection. So without that, I'm not sure Agile would offer us much hope. But because it's about stopping, reflecting, and learning, that's the only way forward. All right.